Welcome back, everybody, to episode four. As we play through Crusader Kings 3, if you didn't see the first three episodes, there is a link in the description that will take you back to episode one. We are 14 years into the rule of Earl Edward of Warwickshire. And we are continuing on at the age of 39. We have four children. Edward is 12. Christopher is 9. And recently lost a leg, was maimed by my quack doctor. Jacob is 6. And my only daughter, Elizabeth, is 2. Uh, so a few things going on right now. Number one, I think I probably want to go ahead and uh, go to my council and see if I can get my steward to... Um, Actually, I think it's my marshal that I need to do this with. Um, he's in the process of increasing county control uh, in Northamptonshire, and that's going pretty well to the point where I think I probably want to uh, focus pretty soon on Warwickshire. I want to get both of those as high on county control as I can. So we'll let uh, him work on Northampton a little while longer, and then we'll go the next step. But what I do want to do is work on passing the limited crown authority law. This will allow uh, rulers to change between available partition succession laws. Titles can be revoked, vassals can be retracted, and uh, clan government vassals are required. Uh, that's not a big deal. Uh, I want to get to three, though, so I can change my inheritance laws so that all of my titles pass to the oldest son rather than getting split between everybody. But the problem is I am Anglo-Saxon, and as long as I'm Anglo-Saxon, that's really not part of who we are. So I don't know that I can do that and remain Anglo-Saxon. So those are the, the questions that are floating around in my mind, the debates that I'm having, the things I have to worry about. Uh, so we're going to start trying to pass that law. We'll see what happens. We're also working on new crop fields, which will be completed in 11 months. They're going to add 0.5 to my tax, uh, which will be a nice increase. Well, we have gained a level of devotion uh, in our faith, so we are now faithful. The next level is devoted servant, uh, and all of that basically just affects the opinion that Catholic clergy have of me. So the higher that goes, the better I will be. Let's take a look for just a second at Catholicism, which is uh, what my particular faith is. You can see where the holy sites are and who they're controlled by. So right now, the Emirate of Palestine actually controls Jerusalem, so it's controlled by the by Islam right now. There will probably be some crusades at some point that I will be called to be a part of. Uh, Rome, Cologne, Santiago, and Canterbury. Uh, and these are all places that we could actually, I think, probably make pilgrimages to. Uh, at some point, let's take a look at that for a second. The Holy Site of Canterbury. I don't know if I, that's something I can just kind of go visit or how that works exactly. But we'll figure that out as we go along. You can also see the main doctrines of our particular faith. It is male-dominated. And that enables certain laws. So there's so many factors here, if you're not familiar with the game, uh, that determine what kind of laws you can have. Your culture determines the laws. What kingdom you're a part of determines those laws. What faith you're a part of determines those laws. So um, male-dominated is part of it. Righteous, and that affects um, being able to revoke landed title, titles from infidels without incurring tyranny. Uh, we're theocratic. We're ecumenism, uh, ecumenism um, rather than... Uh, other Christians were not viewing uh, being ecumenical basically means that you you don't view other Christians as being heathens and evil and outside the faith. Uh, you, you believe them to be wrong, but you still consider them to be Christian. So uh, that's kind of where we are right now. Uh, I can't say I'm surprised. I had so many hopes for you, my sweetest child. All things you would learn, experience, and do. There were so many possibilities, a whole life to live. Maybe you would have had children of your own one day, but now none of these things will ever come to be. Rest and peace. And peace. Little Christopher, obviously that adds to my stress level. Um, this is the point at which I know I already decided not to punish him. But now the doctor's going to feel my wrath. Where's my court doctor? We're going to deal with him. And we're going to make a new doctor anyway. Alright, well, before we can deal with the doctor, we've got a much bigger issue. And I mentioned last episode that I saw 
my liege, the Duke of North Northumbria, is getting awfully powerful. And now we see the result of that. And that is that Count William has made a claim on the petty kingdom of Normandy. And he's going to war with our liege. And you can see he's got more men than Duke William er, than King William does. So I do not expect this to go very well. I am going to stay the heck out of it. I'm not in a place to really do a whole lot unless I'm called to. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about the tourney hosted by my wife. Interesting to have a tournament right after our son died. Uh, all my knights cheers. Infanta Sancha announces the tournament in their honor. And for once, I simply get to sit and watch. Uh, let's see. Every knight gains plus 20 for me. Or we can gain 150 prestige. That's a... Uh, Actually, I think I'll go with that. I could use that extra prestige. Um, in the meantime, we could search for a new physician, but I feel like we already have one. I want to look at my court for a second. Because uh, we have that lady that we brought in who was super intelligent and had really good skills, but I couldn't place in any positions of, of great authority. Um can't seem to find her though. I don't know if she left or what. Those are my guests there. Well, the wife's not done having kids yet. She's pregnant again. Hopefully we'll get another daughter out of this. Uh, holding Northamptonshire got beneficial deal for 10 years. Excellent. So we got construction negotiations there. We're about to finish county control. Uh, we're also about to gain another domain focused lifestyle point, which is going to give me the max perk available there. Looks like the uh, armies are moving. All right. So we can now unlock Architect. So we've maxed that out. I wonder if it's not a bad time to focus on something else. Is that even possible? Um, I'm awfully old, I guess, to be doing learning. But let's go ahead and start focusing on that. So I think this war will probably last a while. I'm not going to fabricate the claim, even though I have an option to fabricate a claim on Shropshire. Crop fields completed in Warwickshire. We're now gaining 3.3 every turn. Um, that's pretty good. I shouldn't say every turn. That's every month. Mar uh, marital recriminations. I'm surprised to find my wife skulking in my study. By the look on her face, something is clearly upsetting Sancha. Let it, yet it takes me a while to convince her to share her concerns with me. My beloved, I must confess to you that Gerardo has gravely insulted me. I cannot bear the thought of being close to that coarse man any further. So we're talking about my knight, Gerardo Visconti. Uh, I can get rid of him and gain some prestige and opinion of me improves while my, well, my wife gains prestige. Um, I think you might be overreacting a bit, dear. Uh, that'll hurt her. Tell me everything from the start. Yeah, let's find out more before we make any decisions. After carefully examining my wife's claim, I have reached the conclusion that Sancho is telling the truth. Gerardo has deeply insulted her honor, and in doing so, he has spit on my hospitality. Now that I know for sure, I can confront him, and I will gain a lot of prestige, as will she gain some. So, let's do it. See ya! Oh, wait. Oh, he, oh wait. He was my doctor! Heck yeah, get rid of that guy. That's a no-brainer. Oh my gosh, he's the guy that killed my, my child. I should have done far worse. I should have executed him. All right, let's see if we can actually do a murder scheme on this guy, even though he's not here anymore. He's a courtier to Lord Cadrigan now uh, in Gwent. That's uh, over here. Uh, so he already went and found a new spot. Um, murder scheme, 41%. Uh, we'll get some people on our side. Yeah, let's work on that. You're going down, dude. Got a couple people to join the scheme. We'll have to see if we can try and get some others. I'm looking now at William the Conqueror. He's 54 years old, obviously in danger of losing his kingdom. Uh, his eldest son, Robert, is imprisoned. 
by the petty king of Munster. His son Richard is dead. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, I think there's a way that you can see that. I'm just trying to remember what it is. Died of natural causes at the age of 18. Interesting. Third son is William. William Rufus, I think he was called. He's 25. Um, Princess Cecilia is 24. Queen Mother Constance of Croatia is 20. And Princess Agatha of England is 17. All right, we got another daughter. Ethelflaed. That's a good Anglo-Saxon name. It has a lot of history attached to it. I think we'll go with that name. I like it. So most of the fighting that's gone on so far has gone on between rather small armies. Haven't seen any massive armies that have been put into the field as part of this war between my ducal lord and the king. So here's Zipporah. She's the lady that had the really good skills that we brought to court. Uh, so I'm going to actually see if I can get her. Um, oh, I could actually seduce or romance her and have children. That would be interesting. Um, I don't want to arrange a marriage. I want to actually have her tutor one of my kids, but it doesn't appear that that's an option that I've got. Uh, I would like to get her on that uh, scheme. I have not enough people right now to get the scheme to murder Gerardo. Um, I think we'll probably end this scheme. We've done enough of swaying him and building that up. So she's actually wandering. She's not even part of my court anymore. That's why I couldn't find her as part of my court. Since I didn't appoint her to a position, she just up and left. And she's actually over here in Ireland now. Um, so there's not really a lot I can do about that. At the end of my spine master Ethelthrift's uh, latest report, she pauses for a moment. There is something you should know about your suffragan bishop. Uh, they're having an illicit affair. Interesting. So my spy master is ratting out herself? <laughs> so I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, we are talking about the same person here, right? She just came to me with juicy gossip about herself and the bishop. Oh, boy. So I guess we will learn about that from her. Interesting. So we're about to finish up county control in Northampton. And then we're going to move over to doing the same uh, in Warwick, although it's going up on its own pretty well. It's up to 83% now. Uh, we've got an empty holding Birmingham. Uh, so we should construct something in Birmingham when we get a chance. A city. It would cost 340 and take three years. But that would be huge. We just need a lot more money to do it. I wonder how I could go about getting some more money, short of having to take out loans. All right, so in the meantime, I can apport my... Suffragan Bishop as my court physician. Somebody suggested that at the end of last episode. Uh, seems to make sense. Probably would have been the, the way to go before, and I probably would still have my middle son right now had I done that. We have 962 total soldiers available to us between the two counties that we control. Uh, that, that makes us rather powerful compared to some of the single uh, counties around. I could certainly use that might to my advantage, but I promised myself I wouldn't go that route, uh, at least not early on in this series. I want to kind of play it a little more organically and try not to force things too much. Plush and exotic carpet. Plush, vibrant, and soft as the first light of dawn, a merchant presents me with an ex exquisite carpet in the hopes of good future relations. As I marvel at the fine weave, I am struck by the thought, wouldn't a carpet like this muffle the treading of feet, even conceal the steps of a bumbling agent? Gerardo would be honored by such a gift. Um, he would get the carpet. I don't know how much it would really make a difference in the scheme. But I am determined to kill this guy. So we're going to do it. Oh, he gained extra vigilant for 10 years. So now I have no chance of killing the guy. I just completely screwed that up. All right, that's how it happens. All right, you can ask the head of your faith for gold. There's 100 gold. I was just thinking about that. I've considered your plight and decided to grant your request. Thank you, Pope Alexander II, 
who is 63 years old. I will use this wealth wisely. Now we need to do it again. I want to get enough to be able to build the Barony of Birmingham. So we're looking now at the Anglo-Saxon culture because uh, we can see various improvements. Research basically is what it is. We're working on battlements right now. It'll, right now at the progress rate, it'll be discovered in about 41 years. So we'll horseshoes about 26 years. Uh, 349 years for Arch Saddle. Hopefully that'll improve. Communal government, our military sphere, chronicle writing, all of these things are really far off right now. The current head of the culture is actually the Duke of Northumbria. So I could see a situation where if we decided to uh, go on the side of Duke William, or King William, though he's losing, um, I could see a situation where I could eventually rise to be the head of the Anglo-Saxon faction uh, if I jumped on William's side. But right now it's not looking promising for him. Um, Oh, the King of England's now got 15,000 men compared to the attacker's 3,000. That changed in a hurry. Um, apparently, I'm on the side of my liege in this case. Obviously, I don't want to take that side. I want to side with the king, I think. Though, I guess, on the surface, it makes sense to side with the Anglo-Saxon duke rather than the Norman invader king. Yeah, I'll sit it out. To my vassal, as an influential earl, is the only fair you have a voice in my council, so he's going to make me spy master of Northumbria. Interesting. You're not going to be ruling Northumbria much longer. wonder if I could get the king to appoint me in his place uh, to take on the... Uh, is there anything I can request? No, I don't want to request that claim. Oh, it's the Pope that I would request the claim from. What if I request the claim of the Duke of Northumbria? Is that even something I could do? Go to the Pope and say, hey, I'd like to have this. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Maybe someday. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired, and the duck was gifted to Gerardo alone. It will be rubbed with the poison, and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. 43% chance we kill him. Bon appetit, Gerardo. Um, nah, let's do it. Yes! That bird became the last thing Gerardo ever ate. However, while seemingly choking on a bone, he managed to gurgle my name, cursing me as his killer. I was merely trying to live up, liven up the feast. So, well, now I've gained the trait murderer. Um, all close family members and spouse of Gerardo lose 80 opinion of me. Oh, that makes sense. So they may want to come after me now, but I'm not too worried about Gerardo's family at the moment. But I am now a murderer. There it is. General opinion of me by everybody is 15 uh, down. That's okay. Not a big deal. As I struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me, I feel a headache building once again. Why do scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I squint and try again. Nothing short of a miracle. With the aid of a stone of glass, even old men struggling with bad eyesight would, could read with ease. All right, very cool. So my, my bishop... I was going to give me 300 learning lifestyle uh, experience for these. I could get one of those stones, but lose 50 gold in the process. Uh, sell everything which is impossible to read. I gain 50 gold and lose 10 stress. Honestly, I want the gold more than I want the 300 lifestyle points. So that's what we're going to go with. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Um, all right. So where are we at on being able to build a new uh, holding? We still need 58 more gold. We're getting there. That'll be a nice holding, nice something I can pass on to my son Edward, who's now 15. When he turns 16, he'll be able to marry. Warwickshire got motivated workers for 10 years. That's cool. We've increased our county control in both places, and with it, our income has increased quite a bit. All right, seriously, woman, 
you know, don't you know what causes this? She's pregnant again. Uh, we've got four living children, which I guess is pretty small amount in the grand scheme of things. The problem is I got to divide my territory among my sons. I'd really very much like uh, Jacob to enter the church, if at all possible. He is uh, warded out to the suffragan bishop, which hopefully will help with that. Um, I'm looking to see if there's anything I want to do. Grant titles. No, I'm not going to grant him a title. All right, we're going to ask my chancellor to take on the role of guardian for my daughter Elizabeth. He's got pretty good stats, and it gives me a nice variety of things for the future, even though I'll probably marry her out to somebody. Uh, looks like the war is just about over. Uh, the king has just hit 100%. So we'll see how that all shakes out. I'll be curious to see what happens uh, with the earldom. All right, with the Duke of Northumbria. So he's in prison now. Oh, Chancellor ha fails to handle vassals. I lost 150 prestige. No sheriffs appointed. You're old, so I've got to appoint somebody to be sheriff here. All right, this is a big deal. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Edward the intricacies of careful planning. All efforts have come to naught, however. He has shown himself fully capable of petty scheming. Few would call it refined, but refinement is not always what you need. He's a flamboyant trickster. So let's take a look at him for a second. He's got really good intrigue skill, but kind of low on everything else. Another daughter has been born. And let's... Uh, Give her a good ha a Catholic name. Anna. Anna's good. We'll go with that. All right. In the meantime, we can go ahead. Edward's a good-looking kid. Not bad. Uh, his wife is of age as well, so they could actually go ahead and get married. Let me be sure that's who I want to marry him off to. Oh, she's terrible. No. Can we break this? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I waited too long to break that. All right, they're married now. Yeah, she's terrible skills. I should have known better than that. Uh, my acquaintance Earl Adric has created the Liberty Faction against Duke Morcar. Uh, we may have to work on that marriage situation a little bit. So what's going on here in this faction, I wonder? He's still imprisoned. But that doesn't mean he's any longer, he's no longer the uh, Duke, because he still is. I don't think there's really a lot I can do about anything right now. So there's currently a war going on for the Kingdom of France. And this Duke, the Duke of Flanders, is actually at war with the King of France. And look at the number of total soldiers. He's outnumbering the King of France better than 2 to 1, almost 3 to 1. Uh, so unless the King turns things around real quick, he may lose his kingdom. New perk in the uh, learning lifestyle area, so where do we want to go with this is the question. Scholarship focus. Uh, my wards can gain additional skills and become my friends. Uh, cultural fascination progress. Let's go with that. So I'm waiting right now to gain the funds to be able to build the city in Birmingham. We have, uh, in Warwickshire, we have... Um, our current holdings are a castle and um, it's a castle and a, a bishopric. So what we need then to kind of complete the triumvirate is a city. We've got a castle and a temple. Uh, we need one more gold to do that. So we're about to have what we need. The 340. That's a lot of gold to spend, but totally worth it. That should definitely increase our income long term. Plus, Birmingham, historically, I mean, at least now, is the second largest city in England. So uh, hopefully we're in the process of building something that's going to make a huge difference down the road. All right, more than anything, I must. Uh, my quest to be a learned man is teaching me how much I do not yet know. What more? There must be so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages as books fall apart or languages are forgotten. 
Perhaps I could contribute by making a new translation of one of these classic works. What would I even translate? Um, I feel like the Court of Agriculture is good because that would um, possibly lead to further improvements for my lands. I don't know. Right now we're gaining four in monthly income. I can't wait to see what that income goes to once we complete Birmingham. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take this. This sh should be about where I stop, but I want to take it out to where Birmingham is completed. I want to see that through. So unless anything else major happens, we'll at least take this episode to the completion of that city. All right, so working on that translation, um, I could push through and get it done, but I would gain some stress, but the translation quality would improve significantly. Um, I could gain some prestige, which actually would be really helpful. Uh, let's do it that way. We'll find the middle ground on that one. A new translation. Uh, my scribes insist that the words on the page mean as we hold two feet and spirits rising edges of hunter. Um, I can come up with something more fitting. Yeah, let's do it. Gained 150. Excellent. My spe a specific phrase. So this is like a whole line of things here. Help me uncover this. No games. Just tell me what I'm looking for. Help me uncover this. So I keep getting these notifications that not enough sheriffs are being appointed, which tells me that my chancellor is not doing a very good job. Uh, I do have a couple of slightly better options. Uh, Reeve Bjorthelm, uh, which should also improve... Uh, my standing with him. He wants a seat on the council. So we're going to go ahead and fire our existing chancellor, see if this guy can do any better. I would love to have somebody that was like at 20, but that's just not an option right now. Looks like the war against the king of France is about to be at an end. Uh, and one of the main reasons why it's going so well for the uh, opposing side is because my king is on it. This effort has taught me so much. I'm an accomplished translator. And now I've got another... Oh, increased development and county efficiency plus 20%. Excellent. These are things that are long-term, I think, going to help my my realms. Let's see where we're at on the construction in Birmingham. We've got 14 months left. From all my evenings watching the stars, I have seen with my own eyes what I've only heard before. The stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seemingly in large groups depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movement. Um, I should focus on earthly matters. Yeah, let's do that. We're building up a nice amount of prestige lately. Six months left on the building of Birmingham. Ah, first grandchild. My daughter-in-law, Weva, has been given birth to a son. Since the little one is part of the Green Hill Dynasty, he should be blessed with a good name. Oh yeah, Edward it is. May you grow strong and wise. And there is Birmingham. Village center constructed in Birmingham. Look at the improvement uh, right off the bat. 4.7 now. So we've gained a little bit. But long term I would expect that that's only going to improve. And now we have the ability to build improvements within Birmingham as well. Uh, so let's look and see what gives us the best advantage. I think we will go with forestry for now. And with that, we're going to wrap it up right there. My first grandchild has been born. We've committed a murder in vengeance of the death of my son. I am now 46 years old, getting into old age for this time and place. But let me know your thoughts. We will be back with another episode tomorrow. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.